Hey guys, what's up? So today in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, default methods with respect to multiple inheritance. Okay. So I have already spoken about what is default method, how to write default method, how to call default method from subclass, and how to write a default method in subclass. Okay. So in this video, I'm going to talk about default methods with respect to multiple inheritance. Right. So there will be a small problem with respect to multiple inheritance when we are talking about default methods because there might be a chance that uh, a class is implementing multiple interfaces and uh, those interfaces are having the same default methods right so there might be a chance of default methods because uh, multiple inheritance is not allowed in java right so we'll uh, we'll be moving to eclipse and we'll see the examples on that so so as of now, I have created one interface A and let's say there is a default method. Let's say default void. Let's say some name, let's say M3. Okay. Printing that inside a interface. Right. So let's create one more interface with same default method. interface b and having the same default method as m3 right okay so let's create a subclass which will be implementing both of these interfaces a comma b right okay now you can see that uh, there is a compile time error because m3 is a default method which is present in a also and b also and a class is implementing a as well as B correct so there is a ambiguity problem here so you can see here def duplicate default methods named m3 with parameters are inherited from the types B and A okay so how to resolve this problem guys okay so basically there are two ways so that uh, we can resolve this problem so I'll talk about those okay so first way is guys we can override m3 method in our own class okay so we can write public void m3 right and let me print some statement let's say my own implementation right my own implementation in child class or test class right guys so you can see that there is no compile time error here okay so if I remove m3 you will see that there is a compile time error okay so if I am implementing or if I am overriding the method in our test class you can see there is no compile time error here okay so let's create the object of test class and let's call m3 method okay guys so you can see that there is no compile time error here and we can simply call m3 method and we'll be getting the output as my own implementation right guys because m3 we have overridden from a and b okay so this is how we can solve this problem of ambiguity okay so this is the first way guys okay guys so now I'll talk about the second way how to resolve the ambiguity problem okay so let's suppose I don't want my own implementation okay let's say I don't want my own implementation and I want the implementation of my parent interface let's say I want uh, the implementation of a interface okay so how to call a interface method a interface default method from my child class okay so for that what I can do is I can write a dot super okay dot m3 okay so this is how we can call some specific interface method right guys so if I print here run as Java application I am getting the output as interface 
inside a interface okay so the format is guys interface name dot super dot method name okay so this is how we can call the parent interface default method and let's suppose if i don't want the implement i mean if i if we don't want the uh, the implementation of a interface we can call b interface also b dot super dot m3 okay let's say i don't want implementation of default method in a so i run as run as java application and i am getting the output as inside b interface right guys so this is how we can solve the problem of uh, ambiguity in case of multiple inheritance in default methods okay guys so i hope the concept is clear and uh, this is how we can solve the problem of multiple inheritance okay so thank you guys thank you for watching this video and please subscribe the channel to get further updates on java 8 new features thank you